our full persuasion and assurance of the infallible truth and divine authority thereof is from the inward work of the Holy Spirit, bearing witness by and with the Word in our hearts. Wow! This is absolutely stunning. It lists all the evidences. It talks about the testimony of the church, the heavenliness of the matter, the efficacy of the doctrine, the fitting of the parts with the whole, the wonderful doctrine therein, the preservation of the Word of God, and yet this is nothing. It will achieve absolutely nothing, as we very well know when we look at the world. Because the Spirit has to assign his inward testimony to the Word of God, as the Word of God, to our hearts. In other words, you can debate with an unbeliever until you're blue in the face. Prove him up and down that the Word of God can only be the Word of God. He will continue, as it says in Romans 1.18, to suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Unless the Holy Spirit signs and seals the truth of the Word of God unto his heart. Do you want to know why you believe that the Word of God is the Word of God? It's because of the inward testimony of the Holy Spirit, where he subjectively applies the objective truth that the Bible is the Word of God to your heart. That is the real reason. Because a natural man cannot understand spiritual things. For they have to be judged spiritually. But the spiritual man understands all things. As he is being understood. And that is exactly why we believe that the word of God is the word of God. 